In the world of the hallway fight, I've got a few that I consider my best. Now, what a hallway fight is, it, it starts off as being specifically in a hallway. It's a uh, type of fight that Hollywood has picked up. Netflix, regular television, the movies, etc. And in this particular fight style or arena, you have a single person or a group of people that's combating a single person or a group of people. And they're trying to get from basically from one place to another. Usually it's called a hallway fight because they're actually trying to get through a hallway or a small area, like a small room or something like that. Um, they're motivated to either get through the room to go through it, the people, or they're trying to get out and these people or persons trying to stop them. It's traditionally what it is. It's motivated by the get in, the get out, sometimes purely vengeance, sometimes a combination of the three. It sounds like every other fight, but it is not. If you're fighting in a big arena like outside or a, or a boxing ring or something like that, it's not a confined, closed area. Hallway fights, closed areas, you're trying to get from one place to another, or you're trying to get out and you're being stopped. So, in no particular order, I would say that my, my first one that I'm going to talk about is Daredevil. Charlie Cox is incredible on the Netflix Daredevil. Uh, surprisingly, his fighting is better than the Iron Fist fighting, which should be better than the Daredevil fighting, because Iron Fist is supposed to be a better fighter. But Daredevil, the way that they they did it, it's really reminiscent of what you would find in the comic book. In the comic book, he is an outstanding fighter. They say he punches like Mike Tyson and moves like Bruce Lee. So you've got a deadly combination there. Um, I like the fights where he fought the, the, the bikers. I like the fights where he had to fight the mob and get that little kid out. Excellent fights. I loved every minute of it. The next one I would say, number two, would be the Punisher. The jail scene. That is really a graphic fight. In this particular fight, he's not trying to get in or through. He's trying to get out. He's finished a mission for the kingpin, and he wants to leave. But they got other plans. Spoiler, they got other plans. They want to keep him in prison, and he don't want to be in there. So he's trying to get out. All his inmates come out to fight him, and one by one, he is just giving them the business. Um... Honestly, if I was if I was there and I saw him kill 26 people before me, I'm not coming out of my cell. That's not going to happen. I'm not going to be 27 and sit back and read a magazine or something. The next one, number three, would be Hit Girl from the Kick-Ass series. This little chick is nothing less than a bundle of violence and perpetual motion. She is shooting people, stabbing them in the face. She's just jumping all over them, kicking them. That's, that's not your daddy's superhero. She's a tough, almost tough street chick, but she's she talks like she's educated, so I don't want to say not that street people aren't educated, but she's just a tough little chick and I think she was like 15 or 11 or something ridiculous like that and she's she was incredible um, number four Captain America versus the Winter Soldier now this is kind of a a get in and a get out it was trying to kind of a go through and an escape fight Captain America wanted to talk to Bucky and Bucky who is the Winter Soldier, wanted to go through 
Captain America and get out. Eventually they get attacked by other people and they're both trying to get out. But they're going through the people in order to get out. I mean, they're two really tough superheroes. So they have a great fight. This was like basically the origin of the hallway fights. Um, it was it was good. I was waiting for it. I was expecting something good. And it was great. Uh, number five, The Defenders. Netflix has three of them on my list. The Defenders... Um, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, sometimes called Power Man, um, Daredevil, and Jessica Jones get together. They're fighting the hand. Um, they kind of all meet up at the same place for different reasons, and they've got to fight their way out of the building. Once they realize that the situation is not exactly what they thought it was, you know, some people you just can't muscle. And the hand, if you come into them, you're not going to just muscle them. So that was a good fight. And then they had the surprise villain bust out on them, and that made it even worse. So they're trying to get down this hallway so they can get to this elevator so they can leave, but they go through the tortures of the damned. But that was a good fight. I really liked that one. And it gave... It was the dawn of Iron Fist being a better fighter on television, which we sadly, sorely needed. Number six, The Raid. Bat Boy and Hammer Girl. They, they, could, be, they could be comic book villains. They were so good in this movie. And clearly, Bat Boy is a dude with a bat and baseballs. And Hammer Girl is clearly a chick with a couple of hammers in her pocket. And they protect, per, perfected using these weapons to kill people. They're assassins. Um, you can't really say enough about that. This one has tons of gratuitous violence. And I, I'm just into that in a movie. I dig that in a movie. If you're going to be violent, be violent. Be all that you can be. Number seven, the the one that was almost scary, Darth Vader, his hallway fight was incredible. He wanted to get through these people so he could get the plans, you know, to the Death Star. They had stolen them. And he was like, nah, man, ain't going to be none of that. So he comes, comes out of the darkness with his lightsaber and they're all kind of looking back like they're like, what's going on? And he, he, he just, he just starts slicing them. And he's like using the force and choking them and slamming people. Then all of a sudden he's like, you know what? And he just takes everybody's guns, laser guns. And then he just, that's it. That's it. You're getting lightsaber, man. Number eight, Upgrade. Upgrade had actually had a couple of, a couple of pretty good fights, but the, the best one, the one that people are probably going to consider the most memorable, memorable one is the knife fight in the kitchen. The first time that Cell takes over his body, there's a chip in his body that's helping him move, but it talks to him through his brain. It's like, look, man, if you want some help, just tell me you want help and I can activate and I can control your whole body and your movements. And he's like, help, 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 because he's getting beat down. This dude is, is beating him. So he asks for help. Cell takes over, and Cell is like moving his head left and right and making his arm moving, just making just small movements, just enough to get out of the way of the guy that's attacking him, and at the same time attacking the dude and, and, and beating him down. And the man that's the host for the Cell program is trying, he still has his faculties. He sees what's going on, and he can actually even speak. So he's telling the dude, hey, man, stay down, man. Don't get up. Don't fight anymore, man. Don't, don't. But he's not going to tell Cell to stop fighting because he doesn't want to die. He just wants the dude to stop. So Cell, it, it's a good fight. I don't want to give it all away, but check it out. And that, that was actually a pretty good movie, too. 
uh, nine. Yeah, nine. Old boy. Now, we did a remake here in America, but the original one, the original old boy, when he's trying to walk down that hallway and those dudes are trying to stop him. And, I mean, they even at one point, they beat him down and he's like on the ground and they're, they're thinking the fight's over. He's just taking a breath, man. He's just like, okay, all right. Whew, boy, they better not let me get back up. And they let him get back up. So when he gets back up, you know, what do they get? They get the business. And he, he just, I mean, at a, it's at a point where he's beating these like 40 guys so bad that as he walks towards them, they're backing up because they don't, they don't want none of that. I wouldn't have want none of it either. You beat 30 dudes and I'm standing there. I'm going to be like, hey, man, go, on, go, on, go ahead and do what you got to do, man. You, you going this way? Go ahead. I'm not going to stop you. Ten. Neo, when he fights Mr. Smith and he realizes that he's got the power of the Chosen One and Mr. Smith is just positive that he can beat him down and he's like, nah, man, I, I control the Matrix now, man. You can't beat me. And Neo, even after he suffers the gunshots, he pops back up and he like can control the bullet, make, make the bullet stop. And Mr. Smith runs up on him and tries to fight him, and he's just blocking him like, you know, wow, look at this power I've got. And he's blocking him while you can see on his face the realization that he is, in fact, the chosen one. He's blocking these super fast. You know, when you want to show something really fast in the movies, they put it in slow-mo, and he's blocking these super fast slow-mo punches, and he's like, you know, guess what? Now I'm the chosen one. So that, that was a good fight, hallway style. Um, Eleven, the Kingsman. There's two from the Kingsman that I dug. One of them was the church fight, but in reality, even though that was a closed-in area, I, I, I will probably save that for another video. I think it would be better if I went with the one that was a smaller closed-in area. And he was, in fact, trying... He wasn't really trying to get out. I guess he was trying to stop them from getting out because he locked the doors on them. But the Kingsman, when he's in the bar and he's fighting those, what was it, like seven dudes? And he's talking to them and he's explaining to them that they're in a situation that they didn't realize they were in. You know what I mean? It's like you're swimming in a pool and somebody on the edge of the pool is like, hey, you know, there's a shark in that pool. All of a sudden, you're like, woo. What? That's what it is. He told them, yo, bro, you're swimming with sharks. And he's giving them, you know, the business at the same time. That was a good fight. The last one I'm going to go with is The Man from Nowhere. It's a Korean movie, and it was pretty good here. The first time I saw it, it had subtitles. I was about to change the channel because I saw it on TV. I was about to change the channel, but then I, some of the action came in. I was like, ooh. I need to watch this. And I watched it, and this dude, you know, be careful how you treat your neighbors, because you never know. One of them might be like a CIA assassin hiding undercover, and you didn't know it until you, you, you know, let your dog crap in his yard, and he ends up sitting on your chest in the middle of the night in your bedroom with the lights out. Boo. So... That's like what this guy is. He's like a super spy that, you know, has decided that these gangsters ha need to get got. So he gets them. And he's like holding people. And he's like stabbing them while he's blocking, you know, other people from getting them. And then he stabs the dude that he's using for a shield again. And then he like, choo -choo 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 -choo, he's cutting him up. And I'm like, that dude is fierce. That, he should make more movies in America. That I like that. So... Those are my, those are my movies. Those to me are my, those, well, those definitely are my favorite hallway fights. You know, there was, there was other ones that I, that I thought about. You know, Rock versus Vin Diesel 
in the Fast and Furious franchise. It was a good fight. But it wasn't really a closed area. And they were like, they were trying to get each other. It wasn't really, you know, hallway-esque. What, no one was really trying to get out. No one was really trying to get in. It wasn't really about vengeance. One dude wanted to get, you know, he was a, he was a crook. One dude was a cop. They fought. It wasn't really, it wasn't really a hallway fight. But it was a good fight, just the same. But these are my personal favorites. These are my top 12. My 10 plus 2. What do you think? Do you like the video? Do you like the content? Let's talk about it in the, in, the, in the comments. Tell me your favorite hallway fight. Let's discuss it. And if you like the video, subscribe. And then like. Popcorn passport. Get your popcorn passport.